Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this fun and easy pattern, the square berry square. Today's pattern is the second one in the Geometric Squares Crochet Blanket. The first one was the Triangle Puff Square, which I will link in the description box below. But today we are going to learn how to make this square berry square pattern. It is made up of uh, clusters of the berry stitch that all together make um, a series of squares which are then offset. So to start off with your pattern, you will need your yarn and corresponding hook. Here I have paint box um, acrylic DK yarn and a size four uh, millimeter hook. Um, you can use whichever yarn you want for this blanket or to just use the pattern for another design or another um, project that you have in mind. Just bear in mind that if you are following along and making the blanket, you may want to use the same type of yarn across your squares so that they are of similar size and can then be um, crocheted or, or sewn together much more easily. And of course, if you're using a different yarn to this one, you will end up with a differently sort of sized square. The squares that we are making or that I'm making in this series are about eight by eight inches um, in width and length. But let's get started. So to start, you need to take your yarn and make a slip knot, pull it through your hook, and then you'll have to chain 32 chains like so. So I'll pause the video and I'll meet you back once I've done my 32 chains. And here I have 32 chains. And what we will do now along our chains is to place a single crochet stitch. And I'm using US terminology here. If you're following along in UK terminology, you know the stitch as the double crochet. So to start off, we will place our first single crochet in this second um, chain from hook. So this one doesn't count. This is your first one and therefore this is your second one. So put your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. And that's your first single crochet. So continue along your entire chain and by the time you reach the end you should have 31 single crochet stitches. And that's the same number of single crochet stitches that we also had for our other square. And that's just to make sure that it's easy um, to sort of sew them together at the end. Uh, once you've reached the end of your row and you have those 31 single crochets, you will then chain one and do a second row of single crochets. And um, that will just make sure that we have the right height to start working our pattern. So I'll pause the video, work up this and the next row of single crochets, and I'll meet you at the start of row three so that we can start with the creation of the pattern and also showing you how to make the berry stitch. So meet you back in a sec. So here I have completed my two rows of single crochet stitches and I will now chain one and turn my piece. And to start the pattern, I will first put in the first stitch here, a single crochet, like so. And in this next stitch, I will place my first berry stitch. Now the berry stitch is quite similar to the bubble stitch, for example, but it is a bit um, less puffy, I guess. So the first thing to do is you'll yarn over and you'll go through the stitch with your hook, picking up both loops. You'll yarn over and pull through and you'll yarn over again. And that's where the main difference happens. And then you will only pull through that first stitch like this, and you'll still have three loops on your hook. And now you will yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over and pull through again, and you will have five loops on your hook, like this. You yarn over, and then you'll pull through all of these loops. 
and then you'll place a single crochet in the next stitch. And that is your berry stitch. And you'll see it has a much more discreet, I suppose, look. The main thing to remember with the berry stitch is to ensure that it has a nice texture to it. Don't make the stitch too tight. Be fairly loose, not too loose, of course, uh, but be slightly generous with how you hold the yarn. Don't be too tight. Otherwise, that will make your stitch, uh, your berry stitch, more flat and you want it to have a bit of texture. So let's try this one more time. Yarn over, put your hook through that stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first loop only, yarn over, go through your stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all your loops and place a single crochet. And this is how your berry stitch will start looking. And it will be a lot more prominent as you start building up the rows. So for the purposes of the pattern, we have basically kicked off with a single crochet, done a berry stitch, a single crochet, a berry stitch, and now a single crochet. We'll now do our third and final for that first cluster um, berry stitch like this here and now we'll place seven single crochets And then you will repeat the same um, stitches, the same steps we've just made, starting from that first berry stitch. So in the next stitches here, you'll place a berry stitch, a single crochet, a berry stitch, a single crochet, a berry stitch, and then seven single crochets. So I'll complete those steps and I'll meet you back to fill out the, or to work into the remaining stitches and show you how um, we progress the pattern. So here I have worked the next few stitches in this pattern. So I've done my berry stitch, my single crochet, berry stitch, single crochet, berry stitch, and berry stitch and seven single crochets. And to finish off this row, I will do the same thing as when we started. I will place one berry stitch, a single crochet, a berry stitch a single crochet and then one final berry stitch and a single crochet in that last stitch I will chain one and turn my piece so now that I've completed this row and the next one I will place a series of single crochets and I will repeat this row three and four for a total of three times. And this will give us these three rows essentially or sets of berry stitches. So I will meet you when I've completed this first square in our pattern so that I can show you the pattern that we work to offset the squares. Um, and continue building up our square. So I'll meet you back in a moment. So I'm back here. Um, I've worked up my first um, set of berry stitches to make that first little square. So what I did was I repeated rows three and four for another two times. And now I am ready to start my second set of squares, which are offset. So to start this off, we'll chain one, turn our piece, and instead of starting with our berry stitches, we will do seven single crochet stitches in the first seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
So now we've reached the gap that we had between the first set of squares. And it is in this space that we will place our second set of squares. And we will do that by repeating the exact same steps that we did for the first set. So we'll place one berry stitch. So yarn over, put your hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through one loop only, yarn over, pull through the, put through the stitch, yarn over, you should have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all. And then you'll do a single crochet stitch. You will then place another berry stitch another single crochet and another berry stitch. And so you'll see that our berry stitches now are being placed in that gap that we created previously with the single crochet stitches. So now you will just repeat the same stitches from the beginning, from that first stitch in the next few stitches. So you will continue with um, a series of well seven single crochets and then you will place a berry stitch, a single crochet, a berry stitch, a single crochet and a berry stitch. And that should leave you with seven stitches in which you should single crochet as well. Uh, so I'll meet you once I've completed this row so you can have a look at how this looks. And this is how this row is looking. You will see the berry stitches are placed in um, the spaces where we had the single crochets. And just like before, I will now chain one and work a series of single crochet stitches across this row. As always, I should have 31 single crochets. And I will just repeat this row here and the one um, that I'm about to make now with the single crochets for another two times. So that will mean I'll get a little square like this with um, three berry stitches on making up the side um, for these sets of um, squares as well. And this is really our pattern. So I'll make up for the, I'll go ahead and work the next few rows and I'll meet you back once this um, set of squares is completed. So here I've completed this second set of squares. Uh, and this is really the pattern repeat for our square berry square. So to, to be clear, the, the pattern repeat is starting as of row three, discounting the first two rows of single crochet up until this row 14. And to continue building the square for the purposes of the blanket that I will be at least using it for, you need to repeat this pattern repeat another uh, one time. And then you will finish up your square by repeating these um, rows here. So rows um, three to eight. And then you will finish it off by adding one further row of single crochet. So that should give you a total of 33 rows for your entire square. And if this sounds a bit confusing on your scribbling down uh, to take notes, uh, just bear in mind, I do have a blog post uh, linked in the description below. So please do have a look at that and, and consult it. It has the um, pattern sort of instructions written out in a lot of detail on a row by row basis. So hopefully it will be helpful as you go along or as you're watching um, this video. So the final result should look a bit like this, especially once you've weaved in your ends. So you can see here, we've repeated our pattern repeat once and twice and finished it off with a square, uh, very much like how we built it at the, for the beginning of our, of our piece and then added one last um, row of single crochets so that the beginning and the end look um, the same. And really this pattern is very versatile. You can definitely use it um, to create the geometric square of blanket like I am doing. And I will be releasing the next two patterns that are featured in that blanket in the next couple of weeks. 
However, already you can use it to make it, uh, you know, as a blanket in and of itself, just larger. Um, in a cotton, it would be great for a dish cloth because it has a nice little texture. Or, you know, you can use it for whatever purpose you desire, of course. It's a fun, easy little pattern and I think the squares um, give it a, a quite a unique look. So, I hope you found this useful and as always, uh, give this a try, let me know how it goes and happy crochet! Mm -hmm.